Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Sam here again, Contagious Collection. Back with another video. Uh, decided to make another one. Why not? Uh, did it find a whole bunch of a lot of stuff, but uh, I'd say quality over quantity. But uh, picked up some great stuff overall. Just going to get right into it. And as usual, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with this. Uh, this was really cool, not easy to find, but not in the greatest shape as well. I ended up finding a Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, it is kind of dirty. I don't know how I'm going to end up uh, cleaning up this area. And the bottom of the snout is broken. This was really dirty. Uh, it's top shirt, I guess it is. Uh, I took it off, washed it, cleaned it. Uh, it cleaned up really well. Uh, overall, it's not in bad shape. Just the bottom of the snout is broken. And I don't think it worked. I don't know, the, probably uh, the battery compartment, the insides is like messed up. Uh, I did put, it takes like a few uh, C batteries. It has a tape inside with the tape deck. But nonetheless, it is a Teddy Ruxpin. I don't care. I'm going to put it somewhere on the shelf. It's really cool. This was from uh, 1985, I believe. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It was sitting there. Uh, I asked the guy that was selling it at the flea market. Uh, he said... Um, uh, 10 bucks. Uh, then I said, uh, would you take eight for it? I didn't really like, you know, pay too much details into it. Cause as, as I said, uh, after I got home, uh, I realized the bottom of the snout was broken, but, um, you know, for eight bucks, say it's a Teddy Ruxpin at the end of the day. That was a great deal. Even though I don't think it's working. Hopefully I do end, um, get it end up working. We'll see. Uh, next thing I found was this, um, it is video game related. Hot Wheels Gran Turismo, uh, brand new. I'm I'm not even gonna open this because I like to keep these type of things sealed. Um, and I'll put it somewhere on a shelf next to a Gran Turismo game. I already know what I'm gonna put it, so yeah, that'll be pretty cool for a dollar. Yeah, that's a badass looking car, Gran Turismo. Hot Wheels. Okay, let's put that there. Um, uh, next thing I'm gonna show is. This, the same day with the Hot Wheels, I found this as well. Jet Moto 3 for the PlayStation. The disc is actually in pretty good condition. Very nice, actually. Not bad at all. I uh, paid three bucks for this one. I don't, um, I have Jet Moto 2. I don't know if I have the first one, but, you know, uh, I got to look into the PlayStation collection. So another great game to add to the PS1 collection. Put that there. Oh, let's see. What else did I find that day? I think that was it. That. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to show. This was... Um, um, I think it was on October. Yeah, it was the day before Halloween. Uh, it was a Tuesday, October 30th. It started off really slow, slow. Um, you know, I wasn't finding anything at first. I picked up this Xbox game. I believe this is original. Uh, it's an exclusive, if not, I'm not mistaken. Uh, Cold War for the original Xbox. It is complete. I paid three bucks for that. Uh, and then I ended up finding uh, Sudeki, which is a, I believe, an RPG uh, for the original Xbox. Another exclusive. Uh, paid a dollar for this one. This was from a different seller. So that was cool. Oh, picked up these movies. I think I paid like two bucks a piece. It came out to be like ten bucks altogether. I really wanted this one. I used to watch this as a kid all the time. I have the first one. Now I have the second, and I think there's a third as well. Uh, Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home. Uh, really great movie. If you guys especially have kids with the family, I recommend this. It's a really great movie. Uh, Hercules, this, this was just a badass movie. Dwayne, Sh Dwayne Johnson did a fantastic job in this. Great actor. Uh, if you want to get some laughs, check this movie out uh, with Kevin James, Zookeeper. Um... As far as I remember from the voice acting, uh, John Favreau is like one of the bears. Uh, I 
forgot the other actor's name. Uh, Faison Love, I think, is the other one of, of, of the Bears. Uh, Sylvester Stallone is the lion. The lioness is Cher. Um, Adam Sandler is the monkey. Freaking hilarious. Nick Nolte is the gorilla. Uh, of the, they do like the voices of the animals. It's just a super funny movie. Great movie. Uh, next one, Land of the Dead. Great one. That's another great horror movie. I had the first two, and I got the third one, The Expendables 3. Haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to watch it. I want to watch it one after another, so that'll be pretty cool. Do a little Expendables marathon. So, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I paid like uh, 10 bucks for all that. Yeah, I was asking 2 bucks a piece on the movies. Uh, and then I picked this up, which was interesting. It's a PS2 controller, uh, Disney Pixar Cars. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's it looks pretty cool. I like uh, getting these um, uh, controllers that are like different, you know, movie or video game related, you know. Um, this is actually a movie and there is a video game for it. So, yeah. So, yeah, a, bu a buck for that. And uh, that was pretty cool. It looks pretty clean overall. That was nice. Um, okay, next thing I'm going to show is uh, I picked this up from a different seller. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing for the N64. Uh, I am going to flip this. I have this. Got to make your money back uh, to get other uh, video games, of course. Uh, paid four bucks for that one. Um, next, I am going to show is. Uh, okay, this one. Uh, paid five bucks for this. Uh, World of Nintendo. Uh, it's a Tanuki Mario. So yeah, it's still sealed, a little banged up on the on the cardboard part, but yeah. Uh, it had like a GameStop sticker on it. The lady was selling it. Uh, some lady was selling it actually, and um, it said eleven ninety nine on the um, on the price tag. She's like, I'll I'll take half for it, and she's like, Yeah, I'll just take five bucks for it. I'm like, Yeah, here you go, brand new. Why not? Of course, I'm gonna keep this sealed. Put it somewhere on the sh on the in the game room. Make it look nice. So five bucks for that Mario figure. Uh, this right here was an interesting pickup. For everything, I ended up paying, um, I think fifty four dollars. Uh, it might seem a lot, but it's definitely worth it. You don't come across these uh, figures every day, and you'll see in a bit. And this is a guy that I got the, the Paper Mario little pixel things that he made before. It was the Mario and Luigi. And uh, this time I picked up uh, the Yoshi one, which is really cool. They look so awesome. Very nice uh, detailed and everything. He did a great job. He did it by himself, like by hand, as you can see. I don't know what these are exactly called. But, uh, yeah, he put it all together, which is pretty cool. cool. I don't want this falling off careful with that okay and I also picked up uh, a banjo which is uh, really cool from banjo and banjo kazooie and banjo tui there's the banjo series yeah so that's pretty cool uh, those two I also picked up this really cool uh, Mega Man I believe this is a Mega Man X figure uh, It's kind of loose, keeps falling up, but when I put it on the shelf, it'll be cool. Look how badass that looks. It's a little banged up, scratches and stuff like that. It has a little switch right there. Um, if you guys know if he's missing a part, like, because there's like a hole in the hand right there. He's supposed to be holding something. Uh, if you guys know about that, what, what it's missing, uh, leave me a comment down below. I, I really appreciate it uh, if you guys would know about that. So, it just looks really nice, man. I, I love my Mega Man stuff, of course. And this is, like, I think my first Mega Man figure. And, uh, yeah. Decided to pick this one up as well. Hopefully, it'll clean up here and there. Um, but, uh, yeah. That looks pretty nice. That was that. Okay. And I also picked up these uh, uh, figures, 
which was really cool. I, I believe they're Japanese ultra detail figure. They're brand new, all three of them. I'm about to show the rest too. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, and uh, this is Mario. Um, I believe that's the numbers right there. Uh, UDF 174, and as you can see, it's an official Nintendo product. Definitely gonna keep these. Uh, next one was uh, Link. So this is really cool too. That's 177. Uh, as you can see, it's brand new. And I also picked up this that you don't see this every day. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, which uh, I guess in, in Japan they got a 2 or I don't know what it was because we didn't get it out here. Uh, the, the second one I believe we got was on the 3DS, which is Dark Moon. And the first one was on the GameCube. So that's really cool, man. It's really detailed, brand new, uh, as you can see. So yeah, so yeah, 54 for all of that stuff. Again, it's, it might seem a lot, but these individually, they go for quite a bit. I actually checked. Again, not about the pricing. I'm just saying about the pricing because um, I try to get the value, the best bank for my buck, basically. So yeah, okay, uh, that was it. And... Uh, the last things that I'm going to show, um, which was again on Tuesday at the flea market, um, was these stack of games here, pretty much all of them that I'm about to show were brand new sealed. Uh, I paid $144 for everything. Again, definitely worth it. Um, and let's, I'm about to show you guys right now. Castlevania Judgment, which I think this is a fighter. Um, it's not like your traditional Castlevania game. But nonetheless, I really wanted this. And I ended up finding it sealed. And it is brand new. Uh, as you can see from the screenshot on the back. Uh, it's like a basically like a Street Fighter style game. Like a one-on-one -on -one fighter. I also picked this one up, which I really wanted for a long time. Resonance of Fate for the Xbox 360. Brand new again, sealed. And here we go, guys. 3DS games, all of these again are all brand new. Paper Mario, um, actually Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, not one, not two. These are all sealed, keep in mind, but three. I'm going to keep one, the other two. Um, I am flipping to make my money back, of course. I also picked up Pokemon Moon, brand new sealed again. Uh, this one I am keeping, Ever Oasis. I don't have a 3DS game, but the 3DS collection is somewhat growing as well. And I'm really happy about that. And these games, I found five of these. He had more. Next time I'm going to go, he said he's going to save them for me in like a box. I pretty much, uh, you know, said save it for me. Next time I'll get it. Fire Emblem. Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, guys. Brand new, sealed. One of them I'm keeping, of course. There's another one. That's two. Three. Four. And five. So, I was so excited to find all these, man. Sealed. Again, he has more. Hopefully, he said he'll bring it again. Oh, I'm going to go again next week, most likely, whenever I have time. Um, yeah, and it doesn't end there. I also ended up finding, in box, a PlayStation TV. How badass is that? Come on. Basically, there are certain PS Vita games that are compatible uh, with the PlayStation TV. Not everyone, so it's like this little uh, thing right here where you hook it up to the uh, TV. It goes HDMI, I think. Um, and, uh, yeah, this part, I saw it, I opened up the box just to show you guys real quick. Uh, everything is in there. Actually, it's inside this box. Uh, oh man, I forgot. Yeah, it's inside this box. Take my word for it. I mean, everything is in there. I don't want to open it up right now. 
Uh, basically, this part that is the PlayStation TV. Um, that uh, is like brand new. It was in like a little, it's wrapped up. It doesn't seem like it, it was even used. The power cord is in there and then the other wirings that attach to this. So that's that's really awesome, man. He was saying, uh, first the first thing I, I saw was this right here. I asked him how much you want for this. Uh, he said, I'll take like 10 bucks for it. I was like, whoa. Um, I think he said he also had another one. So next one, next one, uh, next time if I go, if he still has it, I'll probably pick it up as well. And um, yeah. So at the end, he opened up this cardboard box. Um, it was like, I don't know. I think it was like these weird uh, PSP games. I forgot what they were. Um, and I think they were like, uh, I forgot the name of the game. It was not. It, it didn't really interest me. They were like in little cardboard uh, covers and stuff like that. So I opened up that box and I noticed this game right here. Uh, Mega Man Battle Network 4 Blue Moon. Which I have part 2 and 3. And now I have part 4. So I noticed this in that box. He was like holding and showing me those games. So I was like, hey, I'll, I'll pick this up. How much? Actually, I offered him 4 bucks. Not to go with, you know, it's part 4. But it just, you know, it just came to mind. I'm like, would you take 4 bucks for this? He's like, yeah, sure, take it. So basically, all of this stuff right here. I ended up, as I said, paying 144 bucks. Which is definitely worth it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, again, it was short, and I'm trying to make it as short as possible, these videos, to be more uh, watchable. I don't want to make them too long, you know, split them up a little bit. And uh, that's pretty much it. As usual, guys, thank you for watching. Again, thanks for all the support I've been getting, getting new subscribers, you know, people leaving me great comments. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really loving it, uh, just having a great time doing this, and as I said, as always, if I keep finding stuff, I'm going to keep making these videos and show you guys what I find in, in, in my neck of the woods. All right, guys, Sam, Contagious Collection, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, uh, I totally forgot, man. I actually picked up, like, uh, three eBay packages. I'm just going to add this to the video. Um, really fast, I'm going to show you guys what I've uh, found. Um, lately, I've been on a Genesis thingy. I'm trying to beef up my uh, Genesis collection and get the games that I love, of course, to play. And uh, one of the games that I got was uh, Growl, which is a freaking awesome beat-em-up game, side-scrolling. Um, it's really cool. I think I paid like 34 for this with free shipping. Not an easy game to find. Uh, in the U.S., I think this was the only one at the time that was uh, listed. So that's pretty freaking badass. Um, if you guys are into, like, brawlers, beat-em-up type games, um, kind of like Streets of Rage, that, that kind of style. Um, yeah, if you guys find it, definitely pick it up. Uh, again, it's, it's not a very easy game to find. And, uh, yeah, got it for th uh, th around, I think it was, like, 34 with free ship. Uh, next game is... This one, man, uh, doesn't have the manual, I think, but uh, I ended up getting it for like uh, 22 or $23 with free ship, and that game is Wonder Boy and Monster World, and this is a, another fantastic game for the Genesis, if that focuses, there we go, team up, team up with a Companion to battle scores of Finnish monsters. Yeah, so this is another one. Um, uh, I don't want to compare it to Cheeky Cheeky Boys, but it's kind of similar to that. What with, with like the sprites are like a lot character sprites are like smaller, uh, but overall it's a really great game. Oh uh, yeah, Wonder Boy and the Monster World. Again, the manual is missing. Uh, the, the top of the label, these tend to uh, wear out pretty quickly after a while. I guess from like putting in the games and pulling it out from the console. I don't know. But nonetheless, I have the game. Um, if I find another copy, hopefully, 
I'll upgrade it one day and, you know, looking out for the manual as well. Manual overall, I mean, the box overall is not uh, in bad shape. So, a game like this, I paid like in the low 20s with like, you know, free shipping. I think that was great. And the last game that I got off eBay um, was a Vita game. And this is a really badass um, first person. Uh, it's basically like a, actually, I'm saying first person, sorry. Uh, it's a um, third person hack and slash uh, shooter, basically, as well. So it's like a beat em up type hack and slash game, and also a third person shooter. It is freaking awesome. I checked out the gameplay. Um, it looks like it's not compatible with the PlayStation TV because that would be really cool to play this on the TV. But uh, nonetheless, on a handheld, still it'll be really cool. And uh, yeah, a lot of these never came with manuals. But uh, yeah, the game is right there, Freedom Wars. And um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for my... Uh, just got three, didn't get a lot off eBay. Just looking for uh, you know good deals and games that I can't find in the wild. And I really want to add to my collection. So basically what I'm doing is um, selling the stuff that I don't want and getting the games that I do want. And these are the games, type of games that I'm actually going to play. So getting rid of the garbage or the shovelware, whatever it is. I rather have one great game than uh, 30 games that's sitting on a shelf that I don't care about and I'm not going to play. And um, these, of course, are going to stay in my collection. They will be played. I played a little bit of Growl. Really fun game. Um, yeah, just having fun with it. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right. Until the next one, Sam's out. Thanks for watching again.